welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a beauty must-haves video. So this is all the products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and I highly recommend to all of you. Obviously some of the products won't be for everybody. If you do have a weird reaction to it, don't keep on using it. This is just literally what I use, what works for my skin, my hair and my makeup. So I've got three lots of products. I've got some skincare, some hair care and some makeup. So I'll start off with the skincare. First thing I want to talk about for skincare is a cleanser. So I use the Garnier Micello cleansing water which looks like this. This is the most amazing thing ever for cleansing your skin, for me it is anyway. I use this every night and um, sometimes in the mornings as well. So when I take my makeup off I just lather this on as well on a cotton pad and put quite a lot on my face and use another cotton pad to then like dry off the excess. This is just so good, it actually makes my skin feel really really soft. But you can also get this um, in the cucumber scent, but if you do have some problem skin or your skin is quite sensitive, I suggest using the normal original one, just because I think the cucumber scent can irritate some skin types. But this is honestly a miracle cleanser, so I highly suggest this to all of you. Next up is moisturising, so after you've cleansed you do want to do some moisturising as well. The only moisturiser I ever use really, because I don't really use moisturisers on my face, I'm just very lazy with skincare routines, but what I highly recommend to most people is the number 7 cream, so you can get the day cream and the night cream. And um, This is my mum's actually because mine have run out, but this is Protect and Perfect Intense, so that's for the older generation for people who are worried about wrinkles, so like anti-wrinkle stuff is this, and you can also get um, a serum as well. But I just use just the Protect and Perfect, so it's not the intense version, and also you can just get the Beautiful Skin one. But these are the most amazing moisturisers ever. This is the only thing that makes my skin feel soft, at, with moisturisers anyway, just because usually a moisturiser either stings my skin, or it makes me greasy, or it makes me break out a bit. So this is really the only moisturiser that has worked for me, so I highly suggest trying it out. It is obviously a bit dearer than other moisturisers, but I think it's worth it just because they do work for me. I think these price up at about £26 each for each one, so you get day cream and night cream. But I think it's worth it personally. If you are going to treat yourself and splurge, or maybe for a gift, maybe get someone to buy it for you, or you can wait till when they have deals on. Boots often has three for two on most products, like every couple of weeks, so I try looking out for that. And also, one thing to check out is if you want to get it for Christmas, they always do some gift sets in these for Christmas. So I highly suggest waiting until Christmas if you can to get them then because you'll get the whole set for about £20 cheaper than you would if you bought everything separately. The last skincare I want to talk about is some cream that I use for if I ever have a problem with my skin and this tends to heal it. It's the E45 cream and this is the large tub. Not many people can use this just because sometimes it doesn't really help. It can be used for eczema, sunburn and some other skin conditions but I highly suggest this because this has always worked for me especially when I go on holiday and if I get sunburn I just put lashings of this onto my skin at night time and then when I wake up my sunburn has completely gone so I really highly recommend this obviously for some people it doesn't work I think, it, I think it's pretty good though the only thing I have to say about this is the smell because it just smells really plasticky but you can obviously you can get over that really if it's going to work for you. So I just highly suggest trying this out and if it works for you then that's great. You can also get a smaller tube of this so you can take it on holiday with you in your hand luggage. I think it's under 100ml but this one's just the big tub. Um, 350 grams it is. It's not too dirty 45 either. I think this big tub was, it was probably £15 or less. Um, but you can get them cheap obviously if you try places, instead of trying like Tesco and Boots, go to like Home Bargains and places like that. They do sell them really cheap there so I'd try that. So next I'm going to talk about some hair care. I've only got two products to talk about which I use quite often. This is one of these products I have only just actually purchased and I'm really surprised that I haven't got this sooner. It is a tangle teaser which most people use nowadays just because it's better for getting knots out of your hair. It's also good for backcombing as well. Like if you ever need to backcomb your hair, use one of these. I used to use a comb all the time and it just it didn't stay up. Like these are perfect. This one's from ASOS, um, I think I got this on sale for about £5, but you can get them for about, I think they're about £7 at retail price, but these are so amazing and a must have for all people who love beauty or just don't want to get knots in there. So next I'm going to be talking about something I think is a must have during the summer times, I use this every summer, it is the Mark Hill Beach Babe Sea Salt Wave Spray, which looks like this. This is perfect for anyone who's got similar hair type to me, so quite thin and straight, so it's difficult to get any volume to your hair really, 
What I do with this is when I get out of the shower when my hair's wet, I tie my hair up into a bun. It's like a ballerina bun on the top of my head. Spray some of this into the bun and then when it's dried or you can blow dry it while it's in the bun but I just wait for it to dry. Take it out and obviously you have some sort of type of curl in your hair but mine usually diminishes as soon as it basically hits the wind outside. So what I do is spray more of this into my hair and just scrunch it like this and then throughout the day just don't reapply it a few times and your hair gets quite volumed. It is a salt spray so obviously it does make your hair look wet sometimes as you just have to be careful with how much you put in it. But this is just the type of the look that you get with it and I really really like it in, in summertime. And also it smells really really good. It smells like coconut type of holiday smell so that is obviously another good point for that one. I highly suggest anybody with similar hair types to me to use this. So now on to makeup must haves. Some of this stuff I have used for a long time and some of it I've only just purchased. But I think it's honestly the best stuff to use and I highly recommend it to all of you out there. First thing I'm going to talk about is the Beauty UK Highbrow All-in-One Brow Kit, which looks like this. This is just the most amazing brow kit I've ever used for such a cheap price. I actually got this in a beauty box, I think it was look fantastic. But this is just so amazing, like the colours you get, you get like a really black colour and then a hazel and then a brunette and then you get the wax as well. So this is just perfect for anyone who wants to get HD brows because I honestly love the HD brow look. I do obviously get my eyebrows HD by somebody at a salon and then I just use this to try and like highlight them where I want to and just give them the right shape. But I think this Beauty UK palette is, it won't be very dear, I think it's like £3 or something because I always thought Beauty UK was quite a crap brand and I, I actually feel very bad that I've said that now because I actually think it's very very good. I actually stopped using my Benefit browsing to start using this, but this is perfect. So I definitely try this out. If you're on a budget or you do like HD brows, then try and get this palette somewhere. I think they sell it in Superdrug as well. I actually purchased this item very recently and I was very surprised that I haven't got it sooner just because it's such a good thing to have in your makeup bag. It is the Real Techniques Blender. So it looks like this on the top, it's quite, um, quite flat on the top and then you get the pointed edge there. So this is mainly just like blending my concealer and I used to use it for foundation but then I got the Real Techniques foundation brush but this is perfect for concealing under the eyes just because I used to just use my finger and when you use your finger it's very difficult to blend it in without it actually coming off but with this, this actually blends it in and it stays on your face because I've always had a trouble with concealer under my eyes to get very dark bags under my eyes and I need to conceal them obviously but this is the only thing that actually keeps the makeup on while I'm blending it so I really highly suggest this to anybody I think it's about $5.99 or something like that you can get them in boots as well so I definitely suggest some people trying to use this as well it's absolutely perfect for concealer this next product I've been using for quite a while now and it has been hyped everywhere if you watch any other beauty bloggers or any YouTubers, you'll know that everyone's talking about this at the moment. It is the Benefit Roller Lash, obviously. It's, it was gonna be said, because I was gonna leave it out, but then I thought, no, because this is actually my beauty must have. This is the old mascara that has actually made me feel like I have longer, thicker lashes. Most mascaras don't work like this one. This obviously is a bit dearer and more expensive. It comes at £19.50, but it does last a very long time, I think. I'll just show you the one down in case anybody hasn't seen it. So this is the wand, it's, it's kind of like just a curved wand but then it's like a comb as well which I think is really good because it separates your lashes as well. It's just the most amazing mascara, it, it, there's no point going on about it for a long time because everyone's been talking about it but I definitely suggest trying this or maybe as a gift for your birthday or Christmas then maybe purchase this. One thing I'm rubbish with is primers, I never used to use primer just because I thought it was pointless. I started using primer a few times about a year ago and it just wasn't doing anything so I just stopped using it until I went to America, I think it was last, it's probably a month ago now and I picked up this primer just to see what it was like. It's the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. It's for blur, blurring and illuminating but I think it's such a good illuminator. When you put it on your skin it's kind of like a shiny type of primer so it's got a shine in there as well. It's kind of like a glittery one if you can see that. So when you put that on your skin as well, it also highlights your skin. So I use it mainly on my cheekbones, like try to put a lot more on your cheekbones as you would all over your face. And this is just so amazing. This is the only primer that actually keeps my makeup on and also gives me a bit of a healthy glow. So I think everyone should try this. Obviously I did pick this up in America, so you may not be able to find it here, but I will try and have a look and try to put a link down below for you if I can find a link to that. It's probably 
because it's Maybelline, they probably do sell it in Boots, I'm guessing, or on the Boots website, but I will look at that for you. The last thing I'm going to talk about is something I've been using for years and it is perfect for anyone who loves painting the nails every day like I do. It's the Sally Hansen Strengthening Top Coat which looks like this. As you can see it's like half gone now because I use it every time I paint my nails. I've gone through about three of these now and it's just so good. It's the only thing that actually gives a shine to your nails and also if you've got a nail varnish that is a bit gloopy and isn't drying, put this on top of it and your nails dry instantly and it keeps it on all the time. I love this and I've been using it for a very long time now. I did pick this up in America again but you can get it over here. It's a bit more expensive over here though. I think it prices up probably about £12 or something like that but it is worth it because it lasts a very very long time and it is very effective. So that is the end of the Beauty Must Haves video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can try out some of the products I've suggested. So please comment down below if you have tried some and what you think of any of the products. Again, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And also there will be a lot more videos coming up now. I'm going to film some recipe videos. There's a few coming up there. Some challenge videos with some of my friends. So they will be coming up soon. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. And thanks for watching. Bye! Stuff. So I will start with the skin scare. Skin scare. I will stop the skin sketch of yours because that made no sense at all. So I've got some skincare stuff, some hair care stuff, and oh no shit, I'm gonna start again because I'm not. <sighs> I actually spat that was so disgusting. This is the only mascara that has actually made me feel like I've got longer volume volume vol I can't say volume. <laughs> Next, this product is really a summer product that I use, but is a must-have in all of summer. It is... <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I choked. I don't know what that was. <coughs> okay, try again. This is the only mascara that has made me feel like I have volume... Right, okay, don't say volume, because you can't say it. I'm gonna let it Right, okay. What's another word for volumous?